Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our video, you may know the global lithography machine giant ASML. Recently, three pieces of news came out which directly caused ASML in the Netherlands to be astonished. The spearheads of these three messages point to the core technology of ASML, EUV lithography technology, and they have the momentum to replace it. Unexpectedly, the retribution of ASML's cut-off supply came so quickly. Is EUV lithography technology really going to be cool? ASML has always been in the monopoly position of lithography machines in the world. As the leader in the field of lithography, ASML in the Netherlands has been the leader in the past few years. Just because it has its own magical tool, that is the extreme ultraviolet lithography machine, commonly known as EUV lithography machine. How strong is this equipment? In terms of parts, an EUV lithography machine needs to be built from 100,000 parts involving more than 5,000 advanced manufacturing companies inside and out. If SpaceX has gathered all the world's top heavy industry technologies, then ASML has gathered all the world's precision industrial technologies. For example, the lens on the EUV lithography machine is provided by Zeiss in Germany, and the light source is provided by Symer in the United States. In addition, lenses, film carriers, and composite materials are all supplied by top technology companies in the world. It can also be seen from this that it is no less difficult to manufacture an EUV lithography machine than to manufacture an atomic bomb. It is precisely because of mastering the world's top technology that ASML dares to stand out in the chip field. As long as he is not happy, he can cut off your chip supply chain in minutes, and it will be too late for you to cry for your father and mother. Relying on advanced EUV lithography technology, ASML has been cool for several years. However, the life of ASML seems to be not easy in the recent period because his monopoly position in the arena is about to be lost. Why is this so? This has to start with ASML's discontinuation order in July this year. The United States should not impose a cut-off order on China. As we all know, although ASML is a Dutch company, 25% of its lithography machine parts come from the United States. In addition, nearly half of ASML's market is also in the United States, so it can be said that the United States is the actual controller of ASML. In 2021, in order to suppress Huawei, the United States will directly force TSMC to cut off the supply of chips to Huawei. This wave of operations not only harmed Huawei's interests, but also greatly reduced TSMC's stock price. In July this year, the United States began to prohibit ASML from exporting lithography equipment to China. Although ASML wanted to make a fortune by selling lithography machines, but the American father refused. Under this pressure, ASML can only take measures to cut off supply to related companies, including some technology companies in Japan and Russia. Because the U.S. is afraid that these companies will leak technology to China through the reselling strategy, they simply ban them altogether. This ban doesn't matter, it directly forced out China's lithography potential. You ASML doesn't sell lithography machines, right? Then we will make it ourselves, and then you will keep the EUV lithography machine in your hand to mold it. ASML was very disdainful at the beginning. After all, the difficulty of manufacturing a lithography machine can be imagined. How can it be easily manufactured? But ASML underestimated China's technological potential. Soon, he was completely depressed by the three messages. Three pieces of news that shocked ASML. First of all, the first news is that the production line of China's first photonic chip has officially started. 
Compared with electronic chips manufactured by EUV lithography machines, photonic chips are cheaper and of better quality. This is also the first route for chip technology to bypass EUV lithography machines. The second news is that China's Tongfu Microelectronics has achieved a 5 nanometers breakthrough in chip technology. What is core particle technology? Simply put, it is to assemble many small chips into a large chip by patchwork. These small chips were originally responsible for the operation of each module. Once they are combined, they can achieve the effect of large chips. This is also the second way for chip technology to bypass EUV lithography machines. The third news is that Huawei has implemented chip superposition technology. Through the quantitative integration method, ordinary chips are directly stacked into a powerful high-performance chip. In fact, Huawei is not the only one that adopts this method. For example, Apple has forcibly bonded two 5 nanometers process MMAX chips together, which is called chip bonding method. Later, after experimental testing, the bonded chip was actually stronger than the world's strongest A15 chip, and its performance was directly 50% higher. ASML turned green after hearing these three news. This is not over. In order to unite against ASML, Intel and TSMC joined forces to form a 3D Fabric Alliance, whose members include South Korea's Samsung, SK Hynix, Micron, and other chip giants. Their purpose is to develop a technology that can replace the EUV lithography machine, thereby reducing the cost of chip manufacturing. On the basis of chip assembly technology, Japan's Kyoxia company has invented a nil mass production technology. It can print the nano pattern of the chip on the wafer through the electron beam, isn't it cool? Manufacturing a chip in this way consumes 10% less energy than EUV lithography machines, and the accuracy is greatly improved. On the basis of Japan's nil mass production technology, Russia's MIT company has developed an X-ray lithography machine. This lithography machine uses X-ray radio frequency technology which has a shorter wavelength, higher precision, and stronger performance. At this time, lithography technology has entered the era of a hundred flowers blooming and a hundred schools of thought contending. Only ASML in the Netherlands is still clinging to its EUV lithography machine. It seems that he really doesn't know how serious the consequences of cutting off supply were. Once these countries successfully achieve mass production of advanced process chips, the EUV lithography machine in ASML's hands will be eliminated by the market sooner or later, just like fuel vehicles versus electric vehicles. At that time, ASML can only blame itself for listening to the US side and embarking on a road of no return. In general, ASML's decision to cut supply back then directly forced out the technological potential of many companies, and the speed was so fast that ASML was unexpected. In the not-too-distant future, ASML will watch its former younger brother gradually erode its status in the arena but it can only sit on the sidelines and do nothing. Which technology company will lead the global lithography technology in the future? Please guess in the comment section.